Hey y'all, how are you all doing? I don't know why I ask these questions, like how are you doing, because it's not like you can answer, but I, y'all, it's been a rough one. I'm in a rough patch, I'm not gonna lie. But you know what, we're gonna beat it, we're gonna, we're gonna overcome, we're gonna overpower. I'm like very alone, like very alone, and I have been very alone for like, at this point I think you're God, do you want me to like die? I'm alone, and I've been alone, honestly, two to three weeks at this point. Come on, please just don't do this to me. And it's really sad. It's so sad. Like, I'm by myself. I'm moving in a week, but I might literally spontaneously fly out somewhere tomorrow because I can't do this anymore. I can't. I'm broken. But when I'm sad, not to be like, like, I'm a foodie. But when I'm sad, a good, just some good meal will really help. And I was going to go to the gym, but I, I physically, I, I can't. I really can't do that right now. I think I'll cry because that, I cannot think of a more miserable, a miserable feat than attending the gym right now. So we're not going to go there. Is eating alone really embarrassing? I don't know. It could be good for independence purposes. I'm gonna ask my dad. Do you wanna get lunch? I just texted you. So when and where? All right, I'm gonna go eat alone. You know what? Ah, you can go. I don't know where I'm gonna go, but we're gonna figure it out. I look so, you know what, we're being positive. You look worse than usual, but you're still breathing. So take that pocket of peace, huh? <laughs> Change of plans, I got a burrito, but um, I was not in the mood to get bullied by a waiter for eating alone. So here we are. I got like two different dressings because I like to go ham with them. Am I a mukbang channel now? Am I a mukbang channel? I'm like the only one talking in here, and I feel kind of loud. I feel like it echoes, but um, I think I'm good alone, and then I have days like these. Where I'm like depressed. Let's try this one. Cucumber tahini. Sounds good. This was spicy peanut, by the way. Mmm, okay. Okay, honestly, that wasn't that bad. I didn't feel judged or anything. I mean, it wasn't like a sit-down kind of situation, but it was pretty good. I did see someone I know, though, and I fled the scene, and my food's kind of all in this bag because it fell. But currently, I'm at... You can't see. I'm going to the bookstore because I have not... Oh, my God. I got a facial, and my skin has been so clear, but because of stress and whatnot, it's coming back. It's crazy how our bodies love to just hit us when we're down. Because I don't think it's funny that a response of stress is breaking out. So, like, you're already down, but, like, here's a pimple with it. You know what I'm saying? What does she think? She's busy. But I'm gonna go get a book. We've been wanting to read for a while now, but I haven't gone and get books, so here we are. Joe, Josephine. I have this thing when I'm at Joseph Beth where I refuse to, where I refuse to ask for guidance or any form of assistance. So I just aimlessly stroll, but it's kind of fun and you feel some victory. But I've wanted to read Circe, 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 I think for a while now. It's like I, when I first heard it was Greek mythology, I was like, that's so lame. Like, no, no, that's gross. But I, I've heard it's really good. So I had to give it a try and it's like woman empowerment. So. I stand with you, woman. That pee power. So this will definitely be good. Hopefully that will uplift me. I think I'm gonna go wash my face because I refuse to get another pimple. Like that, I actually that I can't get over how like screwed up that is for the universe trying to give me a pimple right now. If I'm not gonna feel good internally, I should at least look fluorescent externally. But you're gonna give me a pimple? Cool, cool. Now I know where we stand, jerk. I sure told him. Thank you for letting me go, kind sir. You're respectable. Oh my god, that was a woman. 
I deserve that pimple. All right, I'm gonna go repent. Repent for that sin. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go work at a cafe. And the funny thing is, I bought a coffee from there earlier. So I'm just gonna sit outside. And we'll see if they are like, sir, you're trespassing. But if they do, I'll just be like, if you kick me out of here, I'll cry in front of everyone. And that's embarrassing, so let me stay. <laughs> Guys, I was no joke there for only 30 minutes because I got there at 3.20 and they closed at 4. I made the most of my time, but it was, it was a little short, so I'm coming. Honestly, that was kind of for the best because I was mostly just doing this like alcohol and sexual abuse training that I have to complete for school and anyone that walked by me probably assumed that I was doing online rehab, which is first of all, nothing wrong with that. Props to you for getting help, you know, if you need help, but the double takes were not the vibe. They weren't the vibe, so we popped out. Pop up, guess who, huh? Pop up, guess who, but ding dong, must be the whip that I ordered. I guess I'm going back home. Ugh. It's for the best. Ciao! My dad brought home tacos from somewhere. Let's try them out. You know, I don't really- It's weird, I love Mexican, but I don't like tacos that much when they're like this. I like a, like, I love a burrito. I like a melted cheese. So I'm just gonna pour a little everything on it. I'm like really hungry though, so everything's gonna taste good, so this isn't really a fair chance, but let's give her- let's see. Mm, it's okay. I'm not in love, but I'm not crying. Give it a four. Yeah, I just don't really like tacos that much. Okay, so I'm all showered up and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Better than where we started today, but we're not done yet. Okay, one thing for certain. When you're sad, what do you want? You want a sweet treat. You want a sweet treat. Let me show you. Hold the phone. I'm not wearing pants. Dad, go. I have to yell and check to make sure no one's around because I can't speak freely when I know I'm being supervised. Let me show you the best, the best desserts slash snacks ever. IMO in my opinion. I'm hip like that. Okay, first off and foremost, starting strong, the dark chocolate peanut butter cups from Trader Joe's. Oh my god, they will change your life. Yeah, put them in the fridge though, because then they have like a like a little crunch to them, amazing. Also from Trader Joe's, dark chocolate covered raisins. Okay, I know you're probably thinking, that's so gross. Who likes raisins? I don't really like raisins. I mean, they're fine, but I'm never like, ooh, let me put one in chocolate. Incredible. In in incredible and look you could knock it but you got to try it first these my friend and i went to the movie theater and i just bought both our tickets at once and she's like oh i'll put you back and then we went to whole foods for some reason to get snacks before because bezos has us by the neck but she got me this because it did equate to the dollar of a ticket it was eight dollars this whole thing was eight dollars but they're so good peppermint patties honestly though they taste like york so you could just get york but they're bougie i guess but they're good they're definitely good but these babies love them mama loves you guys you're kidding you're kidding Stop. No, you stop. No, not me, you. You stop. Oh, did you hear the crunch? Wait, let's say it's more. Right. Should I be crazy and have another? Oh, oh, oh my god. Don't tell mom. That's why I said it though, because my mom and my parents never cared what I ate when I was a kid. Like, I was free to eat whatever I wanted, but I was weird. I've never had a juice box. I've never had a soda besides Sprite, like, once. I've never had a Capri Sun. And my after school snack would be, like, a salad with ranch. And she's like, do you want, like, like, do you want, like, pasta, like, or whatever, pizza? And I'm like, no, I want a salad. I was a freak. I can't eat it, but how amazing is it to smell? Just kidding. When you guys bury me, I don't know why I said you guys as if like, yo, hit my YouTube subscribers to bury me. Put my body in a river and replace all the lily pads with these. Because this is, this is, 
Mm. Also, I made a TikTok about this, and some poli sci major guy responded because I was like, "Why is no one talking about who made peanut butter cups? Like they've saved lives, whatever." And he's like, "Actually, you should know this. Uh, some guy made them during his campaign and laced them with drugs, so they were all high and voted for him." So apparently, the founding fathers were on their crack activities. Well guys, I'm gonna hold you with my little kneecaps. Today was so fun. I was gonna end the day by watching Coming By Your Name just to feel something super powerful, you know? Turns out you have to buy it, which is like, like I don't, like, that's so, like, cheap. Why don't you just give it to us for free? That's so weird, but business is business. Today was so fun. I love you all. Thank you for watching. I really like these videos. They, like, help a lot. I don't really know what it is, but just hanging with you guys don't look at me like that hanging with you guys is pretty fun pretty fun it's pretty chill vibes on fleek i don't like i don't know why i have to ruin the moment um i'm moving by the way so stay tuned for that love you all and i'll see you soon ciao